Uh, we're just talking bus bars now. Um, instead of having a, a bus bar, which is like a, a flat piece, which is, say, probably 10 millimetres across by 0 0.5, which gives you 5 millimetres squared. Um, what I'm going to use is a bit of cable, which is a 6 millimetre cable. I'm going to be using a roll of electric. There it is there. Two at six mil and one at two point five I think that's your earth cable. So your two main cables are six mil and the other one's two point five mil. So what I'm doing is rolling off about fourteen hundred mil. Yeah we about fourteen fifty extra. Put the link in there. And what we do is we pull the earth cable out so we don't want that to ship and we don't want to cut it. Cut these two. Keep the earth cable intact. And pull the two cables out. And we can strip the plastic off them, obviously. So try to stand it. Plastic like that. And then at the end, just give it a bit of a nip up with a pair of pliers because they're not twisted very well, they're only just slightly twisted. So just give it a bit of a nip that end, make sure you do it good, and same with the other end. Stick one end in the vise, put it nice and tight, it, pull it, and give it about five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. It gives you a nice firm bit of wire. Have it twisted properly, the wire can go a little bit funny, so you just got to make sure it's all twisted properly before you start. Okay, I've made myself a little jig, uh, which is the same spacing basically as your uh, battery holder, so you just scribe the lines across and then 28 mil apart and just some. Little nails in the middle with the heads cut off just to keep the wire straight in the middle. And at the end, this end, we're about 30 mil overhang. And this end, about 110 mil overhang. So the total distance for the two is that's 620, so 625, thereabouts. So I've got my cable, nip one end off just to trip it up, stick it in there, nip the other end off, now with your earth cable that you've got left over, just need it off about two metres, this should be plenty. it off and strip it the same as the other one there we go. and you pull these cables out and you'll use that to solder onto your batteries on the negative end so just stick them aside Grab one. So, just, uh, just 
that off there. Now when you solder it, just touch the main wire and the top cable. It's a lot easier without a camera in the way. Only obviously soldering the ones that are going across. And then you just trim off and cut the uh, wires that are going straight up and down, don't worry about cutting the angle ones. You pull the uh, inside ones out. And then you just pull this out. There you go. You get a bus bar with the wires ready to go. You just solder one at the start. On the other end. Through the middle. And then bend them all down. I usually just do one side at a time and then turn the back around. So on that side, just flip it around and solve this side. Okay, once I've put both sides on, then bend up the ends and bend up this end. piece for the middle, something about there, and a piece for this end, and that just keeps everything connected nicely together. That's the negative end done. And then we'll run through how we do the positive end. Now with the positive side I've got a different jig. I've got the nails a little bit closer together. What have we got there? About 8mm, 7 or 8mm. The reason being so I'm using um, some 6 amp fuse wire. And it's a little bit more expensive, so I don't want to waste it. Let's show you how that's done. Right, same thing again. Start here and just crisscross like that. And it's a little bit trickier to solve the small fuse away with the big solder line, but. Hold it between the nails, it's not so bad. That familiar noise again. Now, when you cut this, what you want to do is just cut it in the middle and cut about, say, three or four mil off. So, a small section out, just out the middle. So there's not really much waste at all in. Watch that. Pull it out. Now these wires are all going to be a little bit bent. So it's just a matter of pulling the wires straight. Just do one side at a time and then turn around and do the other side. 
pretty easy. And when you're done the last, or well, the first one with the terminal connected, on your fuse wire, just give it a bit of space so it can flex a bit. So I found that I tend to break on the end ones. So just give it a bit of room so that it can move about without breaking. There we go. So it's got a little bit of flex. Completed battery pack with uh, each cell individually fused. A oops, sorry, the six amp fuse wire, which I bought. I'll show you the link in the description. Uh, it was about $70 for the roll, that's why I'm being a little bit more conservative with that than the wire for the negative side. Thanks for watching, and that's it for this video. Um, Next video, I'll go through how I do the uh, connecting ends or the terminal ends. Uh, catch you then. Cheerio.